Hello and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play at Handy Games. My name is Jan, I'm a tester at our wonderful company here and today I want, you, I want to show you a mission from our recent game, Pacific Front. So Pacific Front is our direct successor of um, Frozen Front. Um, it features the same strategic uh, gameplay um, which made uh, Frozen Front a very successful game with now over 5 million downloads on Android alone. Um, thanks for the support, uh, guys. That's amazing. And yeah, now let's have a look at Pacific Front and jump right into the game. So the, um, the mission I'm going to show you today will be from the campaign Operation Island Thunder. It's the very first mission called Bayfight, so let's jump into the game and have, and have a look. We are ready to engage the enemy. They have no idea that we are coming, but they are very careful and use their sonars constantly. Oh, uh, okay. That might be annoying if they use their sonars all the time. Move in silently, we can do that. Okay. So in this mission our primary objective is to sink the enemy fleet and the secondary objective would be to stay undetected. But let's begin with a little introduction um, from our new, for our new units. So, we have the battleship. The battleship um, is a very heavy unit. Uh, it has quite a lot of health points and it can deal a great amount of damage, but um, the movement range is quite limited. The attack range, on the other hand, as you can see here by long pressing on the unit, is quite big. So, that might be quite a useful unit. It also has um, a nice ability, the sonar, um, which was also mentioned in the intro of the mission. <clears throat> with the sonar you can detect enemies um, within a certain range. Um, that also includes submarines, so it's um, very um, useful if you don't know if there is um, an enemy hiding in the fog of war. And yeah, that's it for the battleship. Next would be the destroyer. The destroyer is a more um, a lighter ship. Um, the movement range is uh, bigger than the one from uh, the battleship, but it does not deal quite as much damage. The attack range, on the other hand, uh, is also quite big. And yeah, no special abilities for this unit. The next unit would be the submarine. The submarine is a very stealthy unit. Um, it has the ability to, um, to camouflage himself and to be totally undetected. Um, the only way to detect submarines um, is by using the sonar or by um, getting attacked in a direct proximity or if an enemy submarine, for example, um, nearly bumps into you. It's the same mechanic as with um, stealth units in um, Frozen Front. If you come into close range of them, they will be detected. Alright, um, our biggest ship now here is the aircraft carrier. The aircraft carrier serves as a mobile base. Um, you can build planes on it and ships. Um, if you build ships, they um, have a, um, a distinct spawn point. It's marked here with the blue symbol. And yeah, that's it for the unit uh, introduction. Alright, now let's start with our first turn. So safety first, let's build a supply ship. Um, the supply ship um, can uh, resupply your units for ammunition uh, or fuel. It can also re uh, repair your units if they get any damage. And it has a nice ability um, for scanning um, for sea mines. So let's move our unit forward and see if there is everything clear. Yeah, no sea mines, so the next step now is to move our submarines in position. Since they are stealthed, um, it's very good to go forward with them. Submarine ready. Yeah, 
and um, we will leave our other units behind for now until we uh, discover any or detect any enemies. Okay, seems about right. Let's move a little bit more forward with them. So far everything everything seems okay. Oh, okay. Now we can uh, move our ships. And also the aircraft carrier. Since he has uh, not so many movement points, um, he should be in range. Otherwise we might have a problem if we want to resupply our fleet. Okay. Now let's move the battleship a little bit more to the front. And let's scan for enemies. Okay, we are still in the clear. That's good. <clears throat> well, the submarines are in position. Oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. The enemy just used his sonar and he noticed one of our submarines. Now we won't get the secondary objective and we have to prepare for battle. But that's alright. We have quite some submarines waiting for our dear enemy. Now where is he hiding? Ah, there he is. Okay, we have here a battleship and a destroyer. Since the destroyer is um, more agile than the battleship, um, we should start destroying uh, the destroyer. <laughs> oh, a plane is also there. But that's okay. Planes can't hurt submarines. Alright, we are now in position. Let's blow up some ships. Oh, that's quite a lot of damage. Oh, okay. As you can see in the preview, we might not kill it. Um, that would be annoying, but let's hope for the best. Ah, damn it. Okay, now we have to waste another shot with our submarine, but it's alright. One ship down. Now let's continue with the battleship. So it's always good to deal as much damage as you can to a unit and preferably you want to destroy the unit um, you are attacking. Um, since he, we, I am using my submarines um, it's really easy to destroy the enemy ships because they can't shoot back. Normally um, as you know from Frozen Front uh, if you shoot someone he can shoot back at least one time. So. Can I get into attack range with my battleship? Uh, let's try it. Yes, we did it. Do we deal enough damage? Ah, oh, that won't be enough, but it's alright. Let's finish that turn and see what the enemy is doing. Oh, he's moving in. Okay, that's a bold move. 
and he's dead. That was no very good move from the AI. Oh, submarines. Oh, an aircraft carrier. And another battleship. Okay. Okay. And another submarine. And we lost a submarine. Woo! Those are quite some enemy units we have here. Two of eight enemy ships sunk so far. Well... Torpedoes ready. I think we should um, get rid of the enemy submarines since um, they can deal damage very easily to our normal ships. Ah, so close. If I had killed him with one shot, he would not have been able to shoot back. So now we have to waste another shot. Let's get the next submarine. Okay. Two submarines down. And four of eight ships sunk. To complete our objective. Okay, we still have a destroyer right here in the back. Let's move him forward and also the aircraft carrier. And we can also repair our battleship with our supply ship. Let's finish that turn. Uh oh. Of course, they go for the supply ship because um, that's a very high priority target for the AI since it can repair and resupply your units and yeah, that's very useful. Ooh. Oh wow, there are a lot of enemies. Um, well, what to do next? Uh, I think I know what I would do next, but um, would you? Um, maybe you should try it out yourself and download Pacific Front. And I will leave you guys now with a cliffhanger and if you want to see more just subscribe and like our channel at Handy Games and I hope you enjoyed this video with a short presentation of Pacific Front and see you guys next time.